think of this as the ultimate lazy girl's guide to an award ceremony. I'm Jamila Jamil and I play Tahani on The Good Place. It is I, Tahani. It's the first time ever wearing a sash. Yeah. Me, a prominent British philanthropist with award-winning legs. I am here getting ready for my first ever Golden Globes. Today I'm getting ready by myself, which is fair because I'm in my 30s. But I don't have a stylist, I don't have a makeup artist, I just have the wonderful Terry who does my hair because I am scum. I'm going to keep it very light so that I'm very kissable today. I wanted to go to the Golden Globes my whole life. This last year has been the first time I've seen so many actresses ask serious questions on the red carpet, which has been very cool because we do have brains. I'm wearing jeans underneath the gown because I was, I don't want to be cold, comfort first. I'm fine with a uh, who are you wearing costume. Like we're borrowing dresses made by amazing designers and artists, so therefore you can name check the person. But I'm not gonna go through my whole attitude to life and health and beauty. That's when it goes too far, when they start talking to you only about your aesthetic. I'm trying to break in the shoes because I'm very big on comfort. Hair and makeup doesn't have to be this like 45 minute extravaganza. I can do my makeup in five minutes. I just put on like a tiny bit of foundation with a bit of highlighter and I mix it together on my hand, put it on my face. Very simple. I don't have a problem with a little bit of makeup. David Bowie wore makeup, Bruno Mars definitely wears some makeup and they're not reduced to nothing more than just that. That's where I want to get to, a place where I can still like have fun with my appearance but not lie. Wearing a bit of makeup just brings attention to what you've already got. Photoshopping and changing the size of your nose is literally a lie. I stay away from it just for my own mental protection. It's not like I'm just like holier than thou on my high horse scolding everyone. I don't want it near me because it's bad for me. I've never worn a gown before. I bought my own dress for the award ceremony today because I felt like it. I'm dressing as my character from The Good Place. The dress that I'm wearing is an ode to Tahani, who is the reason that I'm going today. It is so extra. She would love it. She'd die again. Oh, no. I died in Cleveland? Oh, it was so important to me how diverse The Good Place is. You know, I grew up seeing almost no representation of my people. I'm South Asian, and seeing no one who looked like me on camera was damaging to me when I was younger. It made me kind of think there was something wrong with my ethnicity. It was a confusing time. I think being a teenage girl in the 90s was really, really hard. That was the beginning of like tabloid culture coming in and it was the beginning of Thinspiration and Heroin Chic. That led me and basically every girl in my school to some sort of eating disorder by the time we were about 12 or 13. Even after I stopped practicing the habit of the eating disorder, the mentality of the eating disorder never went away. That didn't go away until maybe my I Way movement which is a movement I started on Instagram to get women to value themselves based on their attributes and their contributions to society rather than just what they weigh and what they look like. Occasionally, the odd female journalist will take a swipe at me and say that I shouldn't be allowed to partake in this conversation because I'm slender or because I'm conventionally attractive. I think that that is a really clever way to make sure that no one can ever talk about this. Because if you aren't conventionally attractive, then people say that you're just jealous. And if you are conventionally attractive, they tell you, you can't talk about it because you have too much pretty privilege. I'm not going to listen to those women, and I think those women have internalized patriarchy. And I'm gonna keep talking because surely, what is the point of having a privilege if you don't use it to pass the mic? I maybe wouldn't have done this 10 years ago when I started in this industry, be filmed, getting ready, not airbrush or edit myself. I used to be way more vain and concerned about the way that I looked, and now I just don't really give a fork. I'm going to go and put my dress on now to fully transform into a tahani. Ta -da! So I'm all ready to go to my first ever Golden Globes, and I will see you on the red carpet. So I've made it to the Globes, I cannot believe that I'm here, I can't wait. I think it's going to be an incredible night and I'm looking forward to answering real questions about real things.